All right, today, y'all, uh, we're going to be uh, giving y'all a quick little tip on how to adjust your wiper blades. Mine have been coming up and not going all the way down, and I have, I know it's the wrong thing, pushing them down, but today, quick little tip on how to do this. There's a little cap. I already loosened it. You just pop it off. You just kind of, kind of watch how you do that. You don't want to destroy it. This would probably be hard to find. But this is the adjustment screw. And what we're going to be doing is loosening that up and bringing this back down. It's good right now because, I, like I said, I had pushed it down. But we're going to loosen this up, bring it out, and kind of push it back down. And then it'll be a little bit tighter when it comes back down. And uh, all you need is... Uh, 15 a little extension in a socket and that should get you going I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit show you what's going on okay so you just gotta kind of pull it up and let me see if I can get in and kind of zoom in for you see those little teeth that's what you gotta align that with and you just bring it in a little bit so what I'm gonna do just put it back and kind of see where I need to be. Of course, this has tension on it, so you gotta kind of push back. So give me a second. So now that I've brought it back down and brought it in, it'll save me a little bit more time on really diagnosing, seeing if it's a problem with the motor or I think it might be a little bit of the motor, but this will be a quick fix. It might fix it all the way, and I don't have to do anything again. But you see how the other one, I have to bring that one down. So you just do it the same way. You have to lift up on this part because you're going to have tension on it, and then just pull back. But see, we're already locked in space. Put your bolt back. and uh, tighten that up and then put the cap back on so one second okay so we'll just tighten this back up as tight as possible cap it rolled I had to look for it and you just pop that back on and that's it and the same to the other side okay now that we've brought that one back down uh, you can see that we're back down and we'll test this in a second so good so all we have to do this back on sorry for the shaking alright got it as tight as we could do cap right here for those that don't know your cabin filters in here easy fix this just pops and I know this is not regularly part of the video what we're doing but let me just show you real quick boom cabin filter in there flow goes up flow is up you can see the little mark right there that's a different one So you got a little bonus. All right, cap goes on. Make sure you get all your tools out of here. I just fixed the young lady's light and she had a big Debo screwdriver that was about to fall into her 
uh, belt intentional assembly, destroying her car, basically. But uh, helped her out, fixed the light anyway. Uh, so now let's test this out. All right, y'all, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. That V6 sound good, huh? You hear it, huh? You hear it back there, huh? Anyway. All right. So, let's check it out. There we go. A lot better. Not so much worried about this side. It's just this side, so we're good. We're good. Get a little motion of that. Of course, the. Let's see here. Yeah, comes back lower. That's all I needed, really. Not really tripping on the other side. So, we're good. All right.